Welcome back. So February is heart month and knowledge is power. And on the fourth of every month, we take it to heart and try to help you out with some things that you can do or change to make sure that your heart healthy. So research has identified factors such as smoking, high cholesterol, high blood pressure. It increases a person's risk of coronary heart disease in general and heart attack in particular. Now, the more of those risk factors that you have, the higher chance of developing coronary heart disease. This is a common term for the buildup of plaque in the heart's arteries that could ultimately lead to a heart attack. So joining me now to discuss some of this and the things that all of us can do to be heart healthy, Dr. Leslie Cooper with the Mayo Clinic. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you. You know, honestly, just in the past couple of weeks, I know people who have had heart conditions and sending them to the hospital. I know someone else who recently has passed away. And these are people that really didn't know and and, and weren't paying attention to the risk factors necessarily and just kind of living their life and didn't know what was happening. And you know, that's so common that we build a plaque in the arteries silently for years and years and then a heart attack happens suddenly. Mm -hmm. The key is preventing that buildup long before you ever get a symptom. Yeah, and there are a lot of things that we know that we can do physically, what we eat, you know, our, knowing our numbers, and yes. those are the things that really can keep us low, our risk low. Exactly. The things you can control, and the first is blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Having a blood pressure that is close to ideal of 120 over 80 is just where you want to be. And checking that, knowing your number is really key. Uh, to lower and, that, lower salt and a good healthy diet. And I want to talk about blood pressure a little bit, because when we would do our, our Take It to Heart events every year, you would find people that knew their blood pressure was sky high and they wouldn't take their medication. What, what is that? Is that just like, you know... That's the one thing that could really save your life is just knowing your blood pressure numbers and taking your medication. Taking your medication, exercising as best you can five days a week, and uh, aiming for a healthy body weight. Yeah, for sure. And then, and then talking a little bit about eating healthy. I mean, those are, that's hard, easier said than done, I think, for a lot of people. I think it's because salt is in so many foods, mm -hmm. you know, restaurants and boxed and canned foods. So making food yourself, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, mm -hmm. uh, small portions of meat. That's what, what makes for a really healthy diet, olive oil instead of butter. Yeah, and it gets easier when you practice it and you put it in place. Then when you have some of the junk, you're like, that doesn't taste right. You know, you like the fresh food. Also diabetes, which we're really seeing an epidemic, especially in younger people. It's so true. And the exercise and the diet that helps with blood pressure also helps prevent type 2 diabetes. Mm -hmm. if, if someone's going to listen to this interview and say, I will change one risk factor, is there one that you would say yeah. over the other? tobacco use. Okay. So smoking is far and away the biggest risk for heart attacks and stroke. You want to control tobacco use, eliminate it completely. And then diabetes, mm -hmm. making sure if you have diabetes that you're seeing your doctor and you have good control. And when a person does smoke and they've been smoking all their life, can they undo some of the damage once they quit over time? They can prevent new damage. Mm -hmm. So the old damage can be stabilized, but uh, what you really can do is prevent the new damage from being added on top of the old damage. Right. And also knowing your, your family history, you know, knowing that if mom had a heart issue that, you know, you're at risk, African Americans are at a higher yep. risk. That's exactly right. So your family history, your uh, ethnic background, uh, your sex, men having an earlier onset than women, typically for coronary artery disease, all very important to know your personal risk. Um, although some uh, obviously things you can change like mm -hmm. blood pressure and, mm -hmm. and diet. Um, but it's a whole picture of your health, and, and you, you have that information at your fingertips. Yes. Yeah, and I, and I think, you know, what's neat is that since we, we would do our Take It to Heart, and we would get, you know, thousands of people coming to get their blood pressure checked and their cholesterol checked and their BMI, but now people have access to that. There are a lot of health fairs that will do that for free. You know, you can walk in some doctor's offices, and they'll do the same thing. And having a group to support you, mm -hmm. having family members, having friends who are actively engaged yeah. in exercise with you, it makes it more enjoyable, more easy to be compliant, yep. you know. Holds you accountable, too, because yeah. they'll yeah. call you up and be like, what are you eating? Or, you know, and a treat's fine every now and then, but just don't make it the norm. Yep. All right, thank you for coming in. Appreciate cool. it. Thank you. So we have dedicated an entire section on newsforjax.com. Here you will find the stories that we do to promote heart health. Just go to newsforjax.com slash take it to heart.